All right, so here I am at ABC News, The Note, whatever the hell that is. And earlier I had watched Ron Paul at a town hall in New Hampshire. It was on C-SPAN. Someone at the Daily Paul pointed me in that direction. And I started watching it. It was really, it was kind of interesting to see real human beings, you know, not supporters of Ron Paul, but just human beings in New Hampshire asking another human being questions and getting real responses. And during the question there was one woman who asked a question I thought it was a good question you know she was asking what about uh, what was it the number she gave it's in this article she said 33 percent of children in the US are in Medicaid and another 10 percent are uninsured the woman said you have offered charity by doctors as a solution do you really think that 43 percent of America's children will be taken care of by charity um, 40 where is she getting these numbers from well, anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, now, of course, Ron went into what you know what he believes about charity versus theft, and you know, and explained that you know he's not going to cut any of that stuff anyway. That's why he's wanting to bring the troops home. So, at one point, let me just read this here to you. Um, here it is, right here. Um, Paul's voice then picked up as he stared at the woman and added. It sounds like you're cold-hearted and you don't care about people. It's all going down the tubes if we don't do something about it too soon, Paul said. Now, this is a complete and utter lie and fabrication. This is not at all what happened. Um, what Paul actually said was, he was, I don't know, I thought he said, I know it, he was referring to himself. Like they think, oh, well, it sounds like you're cold-hearted. You don't care about people because you want to let the free market take care of them. And you know, that's how they demagogue issues. That's what he, he was talking about, how people view himself. He didn't stare her down and then say, you're cold-hearted, bitch. Biatch. You mad? You know, he didn't do that. Um, and it was just a total travesty of an example. But I think if I were Congressman Paul, and this is something I would, um, actually I wrote it on this. Hopefully it will be on here. And that is, I, if I were him, I would look at her and go, well, what do you say to the single self-employed mother of three who's just had her bank account raided by the IRS and now she can no longer afford housing, she can no longer afford health care or food for her kids because the IRS came and took everything she had out of her bank account, left her with a measly $100. And the reason we took that was so that people like you could feel good about helping other people. You know, how is that any more compassionate? We never look at the other side because I deal with that on a daily basis. Um, and working with a tax relief company, and you hear all these sob stories of people that are literally like, I don't know what to do. They're going to garnish my wages. They're going to take out too much, and I'm not going to be able to make any bill payments. I'm going to afford my house payment. They're literally sitting trying to figure out what the hell they're going to do. And that's what the IRS system does to people. And so they're like, well, they should pay their taxes. Well, wait a minute here. What happened to compassion? See what I'm saying? It's just bullshit. You know, so anyways, this was just a total uh, lame travesty. And I don't even agree with the idea that he was attacked. He wasn't attacked. The woman just asked him, him to explain his views. You know, and that was it. She may not agree. She's probably a big government progressive, but she didn't seem angry. She just wanted some explanation. That was it. It wasn't as hostile as they're making it seem. And later on in the piece here, he goes down to say, This isn't the first time Paul was questioned about his views on health care. At a recent GOP debate, Paul was asked a hypothetical question about whether an uninsured blah, 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 uninsured 30-year-old uh, working man in a coma should be treated. Well, what about an uninsured 30-year-old uh, working man should have the IRS come in and steal his money in order to help this uninsured 30-year-old? Fuck you, mainstream media. You're not going to do this game. We can play this game 15 ways from Sunday, and I'm going to spin it around on you every single fucking time. So, anytime they throw this crap at you, remember, turn it around. What does the IRS do to people? Okay, what do they do? How, what, how's that going to transpire? And guess what? When the IRS comes in and steals money, that's an act of aggression. So, not only is it a wrong, it's something that we, as a nation, are doing to each other. So, it's actually an act of aggression initiated by other people through the force of government. And it's wrong. And it's wrong. You know, not, someone not being for health care, we're not causing that directly, are we? Unless the IRS is causing it. <laughs> what a fucked up situation. See ya.